everybody welcome to another csgo anything tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use reshade with merv streams if you're not familiar with reshade or merv streams i have separate tutorials about them already and i recommend watching them first and then watching this one just so you're familiar with the two previously this wasn't actually possible recently with the full add-on support added to reshade uh, it is now possible to do so but first off just download and install the latest version of hle it'll be in the screen box Next, you download Reshade, so just click the download button and the time of recording, the latest version is 5.4.2. Now, if you have issues using this version, you can go to the Reshade repository and just use a previous version. Um, I've had issues with some of the newer versions, so the version I'm going to be using is 5.0.2. I don't have any issues with this one. Uh, but if you do have issues, just go through and find the version that works best for you. Next, we download the Reshade Advanced Effects add-on. So just head over to this GitHub page and download the latest version. Again, if you have issues with some of the reshade versions, uh, in this case, I'm going to be using 5.0.2. So I'm going to be using version 1.0.1. .1. Right, so now what we need to do is download the shaders. So just click the download button down here. If you go up to code and click download zip, you're going to get the slim pack. Uh, if you click the button down here, you get the master pack. Then we need to download the requin shaders. This is entirely optional. It just gives you some extra shaders to use. Um, but most of you are probably already familiar with this one. All right, once you've finished downloading all that, place them somewhere that's easy to access. I like to use my desktop. Now right click, uh, create a new folder. I'll just call the folder reshade. And once, once you've created that, just open the folder and just drag and drop everything into there. Now, once you've done that, right click on the reshade setup. Make sure it's the add-on one. Right click on it. Open with 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever one works best for you and just drag and drop everything into the folder. So all the DLLs and JSON folders, just make sure you drag and drop all of that. And I like to go ahead and delete the setup. Now open up the reshade shaders master zip, open the folder and drag and drop the shaders and textures folder. Just like that. Then again, I like to delete the zip. Same thing with the quint shaders, just drag and drop the shaders folder. Right, once you have that done, right click in the reshade folder that you just made and create a folder called add-ons. Open the reshade of artifacts add-on and drag and drop that add-on into the folder you just made. And once you have all that done, you can go ahead and open up HLE. Make sure you click yes for automatically check for updates. You always want to be using the latest version. Go to tools, developer, and then custom loader. Now for program path, what we need to do is select our csgo.exe. So this will be located wherever you have your game installed. So I just need my Steam apps folder on my E drive. So just go ahead and select csgo.exe. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and enter some commands if you want to do so. so I like to set up a custom resolution. This is entirely optional, um, but yeah, you can do that as well if you want to. And then for DLL inject, click browse. When you select AFIC hook source.dll, make sure it's the hook source, not the gold source. Just click that one and select it. Then we need to drag and drop reshade32.dll into the custom loader. Make sure it's 32 and not 64. And then if you have an AMD video card like I do, what you need to do is go over to your local disk, go to Windows, go to System32, and then look for D3D9.dll. This is only if you have an AMD graphics card. If you have Nvidia, then you don't need to do this. But since I have AMD, I will need to do this. All right, once all that's on, just press OK and wait for CSGO to launch. All right, once CSGO is loaded up, you should see this up and the cheat message pop up. Just press OK. That means HLE is working. Go ahead and press home on your keyboard to bring up the reshade UI. Just press skip tutorial. Go over to the add-ons tab. And now what we need to do is just go over to the add-on search path. Click the little button and just select the add-ons folder that you made earlier. It should be in your reshade folder and then you should see the path show up there and then just uncheck the box next to generic depth just like so once that's done you go ahead and close the reshade menu and then just quit out of the game and once you've done that go back to HLE and just open up CSGO again again through the custom loader all right once that's done again close the console again to valve the sheet message press home on your keyboard again press skip tutorial over to the add-ons tab and make sure the add-on is selected so it should say reshade advanced effects that means it's working go over to settings go ahead and change any binds that you want to do so i'll do f11 f12 and then go ahead and set your effects search path so 
go back to your reshade folder, set the shaders into the effect search path. So, and then just do the same thing with textures. Go back to home, just press reload, and then you should see all the effects show up in the menu. Press edit global prepresses of definitions and just add two boxes. Then we're going to import some values and I'll have them on the screen now and in the description so you can just copy and paste them. And once that's all done, everything should be fine. Go ahead and close your reshape menu and press Shift F2 on your keyboards. And then you can just click load and load up a demo. All right, once you've loaded up in the demo and gone to a point where you want to record, um, this is pretty much just Merv Stream. So if you're already familiar with that, everything should be pretty easy to do. Um, let's go ahead and open up the console. We just need to add a base effects layer for reshade. So just do Merv Streams add uh, base effects, and I'm just going to call it to my shade. Then we need to go ahead and enable reshade to appear on it. So Merv Streams. Edit my shade and just do reshade enabled one. And then you should say editing stream and the name of the layer. And then we just have to preview it. So most streams preview and the name of the layer that you gave. And you've got to preview it. Then go ahead and open up reshades. And then you can go ahead and add whatever effects you want to reshade. So um, I like to check that reshade is working properly. So I like to open up display depth. Make sure that you're able to see the depth buffer like that. Um, if you don't see this and you see like a white or a black screen, make sure you have MSAA and FXAA disabled in your video settings. Otherwise, if you have any other issues, check out my other tutorial on how to fix common reshade issues. Um, but as you can see, it's working perfectly fine here. So that means everything's working and I can you know, start adding stuff. So. All right, once that's all done and you finish setting up reshade, you can go ahead and end the preview. So, uh, streams preview end, and then we'll go back to normal. And then you can go ahead and add whatever layer you want. So, so if I add all the layers, so so I've added the mats, worlds, depth, and depth worlds layers. You can see I have reshade as well as all the other layers. So. If you want to enable reshade on the world layer, so no streams preview my world. That's just the world layer. You just have to do no streams edit uh, my world, then reshade enabled one, and then reshade will be enabled on that specific layer. And you can do the same thing for the rest of them. So. Now it won't look that great on some some layers, so such as the green screen layer, if you enable it on this, it will look a little bit weird. So um, you're probably not going to want this. So it's up to you which layers you want to have it enabled on. Um, but yeah, you can just you know record it, and it will work like having reshade on most screens. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.